Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to hide or remove the add to cart button or the buy it now button on your Shopify store. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are of course logged in to your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over here to the left hand side, click on online store and you're going to automatically be prompted with the theme editor. Now currently I am using the Dawn theme on Shopify. So as long as you're using the online store 2.0 themes, it should look pretty much the same for you. Next, you're going to come over here to the black customize button. We're going to click customize and this will bring you into the theme editor. Now this is going to do this for all products on your Shopify store. Next, we're going to come up here to the top under homepage. We're going to click on products. We're going to click default product. Now this is the default product template um, that is currently applied to all products on the Shopify store. As you can see, the default product is the Rolex watch, although this will apply to any products that you have um, by default in your Shopify store. So next we're going to come here. We're going to scroll down. As you can see, there is a lot of things that you can select. Um, all you have to do is come down here. You either can select it here by clicking on the buy button box, or you can come over here to the left hand side. This actually may be a little bit easier and you can just click on buy buttons. Now this buy buttons, this is how you're going to disable the dynamic checkout button. So all you have to do is uncheck that box there and that will remove the buy it now button. And as you can see now, the add to cart button is no longer filled with the outline. It is actually utilizing the um, blue color, which is a, you know, depending on how you want the contrast in your store, if you want to change the color, that could be one way to do it is just by removing the buy it now button and then the buy it now button is gone and now you just have the add to cart button which by default will fill in with that more solid color um, i know a lot of themes maybe have it as black to begin with again you can edit that in your color settings in your shopify store if you want to change that uh, as well but that's how you get rid of the buy it now button now if you want to remove both which um you know people won't be able to buy products on your store realistically if you don't have either button um, but to go ahead and do that all you have to do is come over here to the buy buttons and click on the little eye icon here and that will hide it on your Shopify store and as you can see here now it is gone so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and re-show it just to show you what it looks like on the live version of the store so we're gonna go ahead and click save so as you can see here before you had the add to cart button you also have the buy it now button as you can see with the two different like button style types with the outline in the fill, we're gonna refresh it. As you can see, once you remove the buy it now button, and again, this is with no code, no code at all in this tutorial um, as well. Honestly, should have said that at the top of this video, but um, you're seeing it now. So <laughs> you have the buy it now button removed, um, and then you have now just the add to cart button. But if you still wanna get rid of that as well, um, what you do is you come over here and you click that eye and it will hide it. Um, you could also delete it, but I wouldn't really advise that because if you wanna add it back, then you gotta like go to add the block and everything and drag it back in its place. I would recommend just hiding it. Customers and you, it will still be hidden on your store. Gonna go ahead and click save um, up in the top right hand corner. Make sure you do that so that it actually saves. We're gonna go ahead and refresh and boom. Now we do not have the add to cart. Um, or the buy it now button on your Shopify store. So that's how you remove it. Um, again, it will still show like the price, the quantity selector. Um, you can also get rid of the quantity selector too, just by clicking that eye icon and it will remove it. Go ahead and click save. Maybe if you just want to like simplify your product and you just want it to show like that, especially maybe if you're kind of like not ready to start selling a specific item, um, or maybe if you just want it to be on the store, but you're not ready for people to actually start buying any items, um, that's how it's going to display on the default product. Now, if you wanted to apply this just to certain products, there is a way that you can do that too. If you wanted to do this, what you have to do is you go ahead and create a template, um, and we're gonna, base it on the default product. We're going to call this um, test um, no buy button. We're going to go ahead and create that template. And so test no buy button. So we have now created a new product template, test no buy button. So that we're going to leave with none of the buy buttons like we have. 
Um, we're gonna go back to the default product. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna go reshow those buttons because we want it on the majority of our products, which are gonna be under the default product. Um, we're gonna go ahead and leave the buy it now button off. But again, if you did wanna re-enable that, all you have to do is click buy buttons and just click show dynamic checkout buttons. And then that will add either the Apple Pay, cause sometimes it might show if you have PayPal or Apple Pay enabled on your store, customers may see those. Um, instead of the buy it now button, it does depend on the payment gateways you have enabled on your store, the payment processors. Um, so if you have those, they may show up with this button as well. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and uncheck that for now. Um, and you know what, actually, let's just re-enable it. We're just gonna re-enable it for majority of products. Gonna go ahead and click save. So now because this jeans product is under the default products template, it's still going to show it. But if you wanted to make it so that certain products don't have the button because we create, we already created that template here with the test no buy button, what you're going to do is we're going to exit the theme editor because we've already done the work on the theme editor. We're going to go to products and now we're just going to select the product that we don't want to have the buy button. Let's just say it's the beanie um, for the sake of simplicity. What you're going to do is you click on the product that you don't want to have the buy button in your products list. Of course, you need products in your shop if I sort of do this. You're going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom that in this little section here that says theme template. Now, by default, it is on the default product. You see we have the jeans. I'm gonna go ahead and open another tab with just the clothing, uh, cause that's the collection that has the beanie. So as you can see here, we have the um, beanie with the add to cart and the buy button are enabled here. Um, don't mind the purchase options with the subscriptions. That's for a separate um, <laughs> uh, app. So we have the jeans now what we're going to do on the beanie to get rid of the buy button is we're going to select test no buy button that, that new template that we created we're going to go ahead and click save and now the product is saved we're going to refresh the beanie page do give it a second because it does sometimes shopify does take a minute for everything to populate given that it does not have the button anymore so it should not have the button as long as we go into the theme editor back to the theme making sure we customized the product template so we go back to products test no buy button so it doesn't have the button there it is disabled so it's just taking a second for shopify and as you can see here boom now it works okay just checking just making sure but no as you can see here now um don't worry, the purchase options, that's just a subscription app that's completely separate from this tutorial. Um, but you can see here now the add to cart button and the buy it now button are gone from the beanie. We go back to jeans. Jeans, it still has the add to cart and buy button because it's not listed um, under the products. We go back to products. The template for the jeans is still the default product template. If we go to jeans, and we scroll down. As you can see, the theme template is default product. If we selected test no buy button on the jeans as well, and we save it, it will take a second, um, but the jeans would then get rid of it. Um, but as you can see here, they still do have it because it was under the default template. So that's how you can kind of select it to get rid of the add to cart button and the buy it now button on certain products and maybe leave it on other products. Maybe you just want certain products to have it, certain products to not have it. You do have to create that other template if you do want it to not just apply to every single product in your store. Um, so that's how you go about doing it. As you can see now, the jeans no longer have that button. But if we go to uh, any other product that's not like that, such as the watch, Boom, we still add the add to cart and buy it now button uh, on the Rolex watch. As you can see here, those are still there. Um, we did not remove it from every product. So it just depends on how many products you want it to be removed from or if you just want to add to certain products. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brendavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.